Hello, today we are configuring QTest Manager in the UI. After installing a license, navigate to the Configurations tab. You will see important information regarding your QTest server. You will see the initial uh, server base URL, which is the IP address of the QTest server. The server ID, which will be used to generate a QTest license. The QTest server version and the operating system it was installed on. You will notice when you go to the nine box in the top right corner that you cannot access any of the applications. This is because they have not been configured in the UI yet. You will go to each section and input the URL you would like to access the product by. Note this may be different than what you put in the configuration file of your installation depending on proxies and load balancers. For each application, you will test the connection. And when you get a successful connection, go ahead and hit save. For new customers, please ignore the scenario version 1.0 only box. That is only for scenario 1.0. QTest 9.7 and up will only use scenario 2.0. For insights, there is no test connection box, but it will test the connection when you click save. If the IP address at the top of this page does not match what you would like to access QTest Manager from, please update the QTest server domain. In this case, we will use the same DNS address we use with the other applications. You should not need to re-index the data, but if you are seeing any search errors in QTest, please click re-index data now. If you have a proxy in front of QTest Manager that requires authentication, please go ahead and configure your proxy URL here. Click Save and refresh the page. Now that all of the URLs are configured, you will be able to test each application by clicking on their uh, equivalent link here in the nine box. This concludes the configuration of QTest Manager.